all stuck at home, I figured I would get on the bandwagon and do the stay at home book tag. The stay at home book tag is a compiled list of prompts that kind of talk about like what we're all going through at home, Netflix, laying in bed, etc. So let's dive right in. The first one on the prompt is laying in bed, name a book that you have read in one sitting or read like in a day. And I have two that I thought of for this one and that's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I literally just finished this yesterday in one day. And then The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. I finished this one in like I don't know, seven hours or something like that. Loved both, both got five stars. The next one is Snacking, which is Name a Guilty Pleasure Book. Now, I have quite a few of these. Um, like a couple years ago, I used to be huge into series that were cheap to buy on Kindle. And one of those series is The Marked Men by Jay Crownover. And this consists of Rule, Jet, uh, Nash, Rowdy, Rome, and Asa. And I, the only one I haven't read is Asa's. Rule is like one of my favorite books. I absolutely have the biggest crush on him and I will forever love that book. I've read it like three times. I own all of these on my Kindle and I'm trying to find physical copies because I want them on my shelves, but I have had little luck in finding them. And then my other guilty pleasure is um, the Stage Dive series by Kylie Scott. I actually like a lot of Kylie Scott's as a guilty pleasure book where it's not like the most fulfilling read, but it's a good break. It's a good palate cleanser when you've been reading some really hard hitting contemporaries or really deep thrillers. And even the titles can be kind of like weird to talk about. So I don't talk too much about them because it is a guilty pleasure, but um, they're lick, play, lead, and deep is the other one. So, but they're really good. They're about a group of guys um, that play in a band together and their love stories obviously and then the ones from j crown over are just a group of friends that are all kind of like tattoo artists and they all know each other i just love series that connect with each other and you can learn more about the couples through other books so you kind of know like where they are in x amount of years and whatnot so those are definitely two of my guilty pleasure authors number four is deep clean name a book that has been on your tbr for ages I feel like we all have a ton of these. <laughs> the two that I thought to bring out and show you guys have been on my shelf probably the longest. One I found in a mini library outside of someone's house and then the other one I think I found at Savers and they're both by Tana French or Tana French and that's The Likeness and In the Woods. I've heard really good things about both of these but I just haven't read them yet. I think I tried to read both of them a couple of times but I just wasn't in the mood and I just didn't get into them so I don't know if I'll try a third time I probably will because I don't like to give up on books but um, yeah these are probably the two that have been on my shelf the longest that I still haven't read number three is Netflix name a series that you want to start so I don't know if this technically counts but I've already read this series but because they're coming out with the fourth book I want to reread The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I absolutely love The Hunger Games and Catching Fire. I don't really remember too much about Mockingjay. I just know that I didn't like it as much as the first two so I would like to reread this series to eventually pick up that fourth book that she just wrote. Another series that I started but haven't finished yet that I might jump back into is the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. I've heard really good things about it. I have read the first book and I started the second one but I think I just wanted to read something else instead so I put that one down but I did really like the um, first book so we'll see if I pick that second one up again. I also forgot to mention uh, this one that I just got, Girls with Sharp Sticks by Suzanne Young. This one is a part of a mini series, I guess, so um, I do plan to read this soon, so I guess that counts as like a binge-worthy series read. I'm currently binge-watching The Act, which is the story on um, Gypsy Rose, because I intend on picking up Darling Rose Gold pretty soon, which I think is taken from one another, so I'm excited to read that, and the series is actually pretty good. All right, the next one is name a book you recently bought because of the hype. What book haven't I got because of the hype? So I have like quite a few for this one, obviously. One is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I think that's how you say her name. Um, I got this because of the hype because I would have never regularly picked up something like this and I'm pretty sure it's fantasy and I don't read fantasy. So I do want to read this because of the hype, yes. 
so that counts for that one. Another one I picked up was Night Film by Marisha Pessel, which I've heard so many good things about from multiple booktubers. So this one I definitely got from the hype. And both of these are actually really big books. So I don't know when I'll get to these. And then the other one I got because of the hype, but also because I liked the synopsis and what the storyline is about. That's My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I just finished this and I actually did like it a lot. Um, I think I gave it four star, but I'll be talking about that in my wrap up for April. Number six, productivity. Name a book that you learned from or one that had an impact on you. There's quite a few for this one as well. I didn't really know which one to pick. I feel like Daisy Jones and the Six and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo both kind of had an impact on me, um, a deep impact, but not one that kind of goes along the lines of productivity. I would say, if anything, um, Eliza and Her Monsters did. I really loved that book and it had a huge impact on me. It's currently being lent out to a friend, so I don't have it in my possession. And the other one that I do have a physical copy of is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. I loved this book and I guess it had like a emotional impact on me but it also made me really happy because of the collaboration with the singer-songwriter Griffin Peterson I think is his name and I just love the music in this book so much. Number seven is FaceTime name a book you were gifted. Now not surprisingly because everybody in my family knows that I have way too many books I don't get gifted books often. So one of the ones that my fiance bought me for Christmas was The House Next Door by James Patterson. And I finished that one and I just lent it out to a friend. And then one that my uh, future mother-in-law bought me for Christmas was 13 Minute Murder, also by James Patterson. Um, this has three thrillers in one book as well as The House Next Door which I don't know if that's like a James Patterson thing. I know he's extremely popular in the mystery thriller category. I wasn't a huge fan of the one that I did read and I actually DNF'd the third book that was in that one. So I don't know if I'll pick them up um, anymore after this, but because this was a gift, I'm definitely going to read it. And it's actually going to be a part of my remaining two weeks in April TBR, if that makes sense. Another book, actually the only other book that I was gifted was Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. I did read Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis and I actually enjoyed this one. I started this one, they're very short. Um, I started this one and I got like, I don't know, halfway through and I was just like ugh, not into it. I know there's a lot of controversy on Rachel Hollis. Um, she kind of comes off as like a rich snob that has everything she needs. So why are you like telling people who don't have the help and finances to do the things that you do so it was kind of hard for me to get through and I just put it down but I did like girl wash your face number eight is self-care what's one thing you've done recently to look after yourself um I guess really the biggest thing is that I've been reading more because usually I work full-time and I go to school full-time and I don't have a lot of time to read um, this year I set my reading goal to 100 books, or 90 books actually. Um, I'm hoping to get to 100 because last year I was only able to read, I think, 65 and my goal is 50. So, um, I would say that's a huge portion of self-care is just laying down with a good book, getting some sun with a good book. Um, the other thing I can think of is I built my new bookshelf and I got some nice things to cover my bookshelf and I count that as self-care because it's something that makes me happy. And then the last question is name a book that's coming out soon and the one that I'm most excited for that's coming out soon is He Started It by Samantha Downing. I loved My Lovely Wife. It's actually up on my shelf right now and um, I'm just I've heard really good reviews for those who have gotten a copy first and they really enjoyed it so I'm super stoked to read that one and um, hopefully I can get it soon. I don't know if the publication date is change due to the coronavirus so we'll see so that's all i have for you guys today and i hope you can do this book tag as well it was kind of fun going through my books that fit with the prompts so i haven't done a tag yet like this so it was kind of fun kind of cool got me off my butt i'll say that so thanks for watching guys talk soon <laughs>